Today I'm going to be showing you a complete beginner's guide to using the AirPods Max. This video is going to teach you everything you need to know to be able to use your new pair of AirPods Max to its maximum potential so you can become an AirPods expert. So let's get started with today's video, a complete beginner's guide to using the AirPods Max. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is actually a few tips on the case itself. Now it may seem pretty self-explanatory, but the case that comes with your headphones are actually a smart case. And what I mean by that is whenever you put your AirPods Max in their case, and once you close this magnetic seal there, your headphones are actually going to detect that they're inside the case, allowing them to enter a low power mode. So whenever you take your headphones off and you aren't using them, they actually don't shut off completely. Uh, they're still going to be using some battery life even though you're not using them. The same happens when you put them in the case. However, they enter this ultra low power mode, meaning that although they're not completely turned off, they're really not going to use up much battery at all. And one of the coolest parts about this low power mode is when you charge your headphones while they're in their case and they're in that low power mode, it's going to charge way faster than if they're not in their case. So that's why there's this slot on the bottom of the case right here where you can still charge your AirPods uh, while they're in their case and they're going to charge uh, extra fast. So for the best charging experience, I definitely suggest uh, you charge them while in the case. But now let's uh, take these headphones out of their case and dive into the rest of the video. Let's quickly go over the body of our AirPods Max because there are a few important things to know. The first is you can actually remove the ear cushions on your headphones. They come out very easily and they're magnetically connected, so they'll snap right back into place with ease. Now, it's pretty cool that you can actually buy these ear cushions by themselves. So if you ever damage them, you can go and buy a pair of new uh, ear cushion replacements. This is also cool because it allows you to fully customize your headphones in the sense that you can buy uh, separately a different pair of ear cushions that are maybe a different color than the rest of your AirPods Max, allowing you uh, to customize your headphones so they stand out amongst the rest. Now on this right headphone here, we have these two buttons. The first is our digital crown, and it's actually a rotating bezel, just like the one that you'll find on an Apple Watch. So when you rotate this digital crown, it's going to adjust your volume. If you press on it once, that's how you can play or pause a track. When you double press on it or tap on it twice, it's going to skip a track forward on your playlist. And if you triple tap it, it's going to take you back a track. Now, if you have Hey Siri set up, you can always use that verbal command while wearing your AirPods Max to activate Siri. But if you don't feel like using the verbal command, or maybe you never set up Hey Siri, you can actually just press and hold down on this digital crown and it's going to activate Siri. Now, next to the digital crown, we have this clickable button here. So this is how you can toggle uh, in and out of the different audio settings. So we have uh, noise transparency, which allows you to hear external sounds. And then there's noise cancellation mode. And again, just to switch in and out of those different modes, all you need to do is press on this button. Now there's a few customizations that we can make uh, to these buttons, and we're gonna get to that in just one second. But first, I wanna point out, uh, this is where you can charge uh, your headphones. So on the bottom of this right headphone is our power source, and it just uses a lightning cable just like an iPhone does. And then next to that, we have the LED light. So this LED light actually gives us some really cool insights. So when your headphones are plugged into a power source and actively charging, if you press down on the digital crown, it's actually going to show you one of two things. So if the light turns green while your headphones are charging, that is telling you that they're at least 95% charged. If they're charging and you press your digital crown and it shows you an amber color light, that means they're less than 95% charged. Now, the same happens when they're not plugged in, except the metric is a little bit different. So when they're not plugged in, if you press that digital crown, you'll see mine turned green. That's showing me that they're at least 15% charged. But if it flashes amber when they're not connected to the power source, that means they're less than 15% charged, and it's probably a good idea to go connect them to its power source. Now, this light also will show you when you're connecting uh, via Bluetooth to a new device, but I'm gonna show you that later on in the video. But it's just important uh, to note where that LED light is because it does give you some pretty great insights. 
Now let's take a look at how we can fully customize our headphones. So to access what I'm about to show you, we gotta open our settings application, go to Bluetooth, and then make sure you're connected to your AirPods Max. Once you're connected, we're gonna press this I right here. Now we have access to all of these different settings that allow us to fully customize these headphones. So the first thing I wanna show you is how you can change the name. So if you press this name tab right here, you can type in whatever name you want uh, your phone to recognize your AirPods Max as, then click done. And now that's how your AirPods are going to appear in your settings application. So it's important to set that up if you have multiple Bluetooth devices, especially if you have multiple AirPods, just going to make it easier uh, when you're trying to pair to the right uh, set of headphones that you're using. Next, we have the noise control. So again, the button that's right next to our digital crown is how we can toggle between uh, noise cancellation and then noise transparency mode. If you only want to use one of those options or you don't want to use any of them, here is how you can customize that button. So check off whichever uh, noise controls you want to have access to, or you can turn them off. Uh, so then when you toggle, uh, when you hit that button, it's going to toggle between either just one of these options, two of them, or all three. So beneath that, this is where we can uh, customize that rotating bezel, so the digital crown. So no matter what, the digital crown is going to allow you to adjust the, the volume by rotating it. But you have the choice if you want the volume to increase from back to front or front to back. So just select whichever option you prefer, and that is going to customize that digital crown. Next, we have automatic head detection. This is a great feature that probably a lot of you are going to want to leave enabled. What it does is it your headphones are going to detect when they're on your head. And whenever you take them off, it's going to instantly pause whatever audio is being played on your AirPods Max. However, if you're somebody that wants doesn't want their music to pause and maybe wants to take just one ear out of their headphones or still have it playing while your headphones are sitting around your neck, you're going to have to shut this feature off uh, because again, whenever it's enabled, it's going to automatically pause your audio when your headphones come off of your head. But if you disable this, your audio is going to continue to play until you manually go and pause a certain track. This next feature, connect to this phone, uh, is one I really want to mention uh, because it gives you, so what happens when you're using your AirPods Max, and a cool feature in my opinion, is it, they're automatically going to connect to whichever device you're actively using. So for example, say I'm listening to music on my iPhone, but then all of a sudden I switch over, I grab my iPad, and I start playing a movie. My AirPods Max are going to detect that I've switched from my iPhone and started watching content on my iPad, and it's automatically going to disconnect me from my iPhone and then connect me to my iPad. Now, this is a great feature most of the time, but you may want to shut it off for certain scenarios. So say you are reading an article on maybe your iPad, but you want to listen to music on your iPhone it's going to get annoying if it keeps switching you over to that iPad when you wanna stay connected to your iPhone. So if you're going to be using multiple Apple devices and you don't want your AirPods automatically connecting to whichever uh, device you're using at a certain moment, then switch this setting to when last connected to this iPhone. Otherwise, you can just leave it uh, set to automatically and it's going to uh, continue to automatically switch devices. What happens when you choose the sec second option is your AirPods Max are only going to connect, it, connect to the most recent device that you used. You do need to go and switch this setting on all of your devices if this is the one you want to select. So beneath that, we have spatial audio, and it is an incredible feature that we have on our AirPods Max. What it is, is it allows you to hear immersive three-dimensional audio from any video that supports uh, spatial audio. And it does this by following the movement of your iPhone. If you haven't tried it, click this, see and hear how it works. And it's going to give you a little example of what this sounds like. It's a really cool feature. Again, it, it only works on supported videos, but if you have Apple TV, almost all of the movies and shows you find on there, uh, are going to be supported. And it's something you really got to try out because it is a great experience and an amazing feature on our AirPods Max. 
I want to take a quick break from our video to invite you to join this incredible application that's giving out millions of cash prizes just for answering quick and easy surveys. So if you want to start earning real cash today just by taking these simple surveys, use the link in our, in our description or go to bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-Q-U-I-C-K-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. Now, using this link is going to help support our channel, but more importantly, it's going to make sure that you get access to their best surveys that pay out the greatest rewards. Now, using that link is going to take you directly to the App Store, and if you look down here, you can see just some examples of the incredible, easy and simple surveys that are paying out real cash rewards. So go ahead, download Quick Thoughts, and then on the bottom left corner, click Sign Up, and it's a really fast and easy process to get signed up for Quick Thoughts, and then right away, you're going to be able to start answering these surveys and being rewarded with real cash rewards. So again, the link's down in the description, or go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts to start earning real cash for taking easy surveys today. Now let's take a look at how to connect our AirPods Max to new devices. So first I wanna show you with an Apple device and with an Apple device, the process is incredibly easy. So once you take your AirPods out of their case, you'll see this prompt will show up on your Apple device. From here, just press the connect button and then it's going to ask you to hold down on this volume control button right here. So we're gonna press and hold you'll see the LED light will start flashing a white color. And in just a few seconds, it's going to connect to that Apple device. From here, you can just click, click the X button and your device is now connected. So if you're not uh, trying to pair with an Apple device and you're using any other uh, Bluetooth capable device, all you do instead is you'll go to that device's settings panel or wherever you use uh, on that device to connect to a new Bluetooth uh, device and then you're just going to take your AirPods Max and press that same noise control button. Again, just press and hold. This white light or the LED light will start flashing a white color indicating that it's actively searching for a new device to pair with and just like that you'll be able to connect your AirPods Max to a non-Apple device. Next, I have a few quick gestures that you need to know about so you don't need to pull your phone out every time you receive a phone call while wearing your AirPods Max. So next time a call comes in and you're wearing your headphones, if you wanna answer that call, all you need to do is just press down on the digital crown once. Now, if you wanna decline the incoming call, just press your digital crown twice. Now, say you're wearing your headphones and you're already on a call and then a new incoming call comes in. If you want to answer the new call and put your current call on hold, just press the digital crown once. It's going to put your active call on hold and answer the new call. But if you want to just stay on your current call and then decline the incoming call, just press down on the digital crown twice. If you're ever having any trouble with your AirPods Max uh, and feel like they're not working correctly, before you take them to the Apple store, I wanna show you a quick trick that you should try uh, and hopefully this will resolve the problem. So next time or if your headphones ever uh, stop working properly, I'm gonna have you reset them. So to reboot your AirPods Max, you're just gonna press and hold down on both the digital crown and the noise control button. So press and hold for, on both of these buttons for a few seconds and it's going to reboot your AirPods Max. Next up, I have a quick tip so you can always know the exact battery life you have remaining on your AirPods Max. And this is to add a battery widget anywhere on your home screen. So to do this, just press and hold down on your display screen until uh, your apps start to move and then this plus icon will appear on the top left corner of your screen. So select that and then you can either just search for it or go ahead and find batteries. Click this, and then we have three different sizes of a widget to choose from. Any of them will work. I'm gonna choose the medium size, and then just press Add Widget. And then you can locate this just by dragging it anywhere you want on your screen. So I like this because anytime you're connected to your AirPods Max or any other Bluetooth device, it's going to tell you uh, the battery percentage you have remaining. It will also show your phone battery as well. 
Now I wanna show you a really cool feature that allows you and somebody else to listen to the same audio at the exact same time using two different pairs of headphones. So as long as you're connected to your AirPods Max, while you're listening to any music or any type of content, just find the AirPlay icon. So this icon right here, press that, and then there'll be this share audio button. Once that's selected, it's going to start searching for any compatible headphones. So this will work with any type of the AirPods or any variation of the Beats headphones. Once you locate uh, another pair of compatible uh, headphones that are in your area, you can select them and it's going to start streaming the audio that you're playing out of your device to both sets of headphones. It's an awesome feature. You can now watch movies with friends while still wearing your headphones for the best listening experience. I quickly want to invite you to join our email newsletter, App Find VIP, where we're sending out the best mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox. To get signed up, all you need to do is go to appfindvip.com or use the link down in the description. Once here, just let us know your name, your email, and then decide what type of emails you want to receive so you can start receiving the best mobile apps and mobile games. Plus, you're automatically going to be entered into our App Find giveaways where we're giving away free iTunes and Google Play gift cards every single month. All you need to do is be a part of our free email newsletter, App Find VIP. So again, use the link down in the description or go to appfindvip.com to get signed up today. Now I wanna show you a hidden feature called live listening. So live listening is available in your control center, but you need to put it in there manually. So to do it, I'll show you that first. We're just gonna go to our settings application, then find the control center tab. And then what we'll do is, I'll show you it from the start. So you go to more controls, and then just find live listening, or it says hearing. So check off that hearing icon. It will now be in your control center. So now it's down here. So what live listening is, is you need to be connected to your AirPods Max, but once you're connected, you can press this icon, and if you check this off right here, we've turned on live listen. So what Live Listen does is it turns your uh, iPhone uh, into a microphone. So say you want to leave your iPhone in one room and you go upstairs, you can still be a part of the conversation because any audio that your iPhone picks up on is gonna be automatically uh, transferred over into your AirPods Max so you can hear the conversation going on in whichever room you leave your iPhone in. So of course, use this feature uh, with caution, uh, but it does allow you to listen in on conversations or anytime you just want your iPhone to work as a microphone. Again, you just go to your control center, go here, and then toggle on and off that live listen button, and right away it will turn your iPhone into a uh, microphone, and then it's going to send that audio directly over to your AirPods Max. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was a complete beginner's guide to the AirPods Max. This video should have shown you everything you need to know to become an AirPods Max expert. Now, if you found this video valuable, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content coming out soon. Let us know down in the comment what your favorite AirPods Max feature was. And if you haven't already, make sure you go to appfindvip.com to get signed up for our email newsletter, App Find VIP. This is where we send out the best mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox. Plus, once you get signed up for App Find VIP, you're automatically going to be entered into our monthly giveaways where we give out gift cards and other incredible uh, prizes just for being signed up for App Find VIP. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.